hi uh, welcome to the phoenix part 2 video so in this part we were required to implement the twitter application uh, by using the web sockets so in the previous part we had implement already implemented the gen server code for the twitter application and in this part we were going to implement the web sockets in the server side we have used the phoenix uh, web server uh, and for the client side, we needed to contact the Phoenix web server using our gen servers. So for this, we have used the Phoenix channel client library. Uh, we had several options. We could have done it through UI, but uh, doing it through UI would not have facilitated us to run a simulation on a large number of users, which we already did in our presentation. So uh, the Phoenix uh, channel client is a client side library and what it does is provides a few connection strings through which we can connect the socket connection on the Phoenix web server. So I'll go into the code now and as you will be able to see that we have used the Phoenix channel client in our application. <clears throat> as you can see we have added the dependency for Phoenix channel client right here and uh, this Phoenix channel client is being used throughout the client uh, side. Now on the client side, we have uh, changed uh, the client to use uh, use web sockets and connect uh, to the uh, to our Phoenix server using that. So on the Phoenix side, uh, I'll quickly show you the code. So this is our Phoenix client. So in this, we have created a channel which is called Room Channel. And this room channel, uh, so are all the clients subscribed to this particular channel from their side, uh, which is the room colon lobby. So if you look at the code here, that we have created a socket connection right here. So whenever a, uh, whenever we start our gen server uh, for the client, it creates a uh, it creates a socket connection, web socket connection with the Phoenix server on local host port 4000 and at this particular path now when the web socket connection is established we try to uh, subscribe to this room colon lobby channel on the server side there is the join code for the phoenix uh, web server now moving forward so whatever messages the uh, we will be sending from the client that will be coming to this handle in this is very similar to the handle cast and handle call methods which we have already seen in the gen server. So whatever comes into this and subscribe to this particular topic would automatically be handled within this particular function. So we have written our functions for each and every, each and every topic. <coughs> so as you can see this is the login user function. Now as you can see there is the convert state uh, to map. Uh, method what this does is because uh, the state which we have maintained on the server that is a complex JSON which is not passed directly by Python library what we have done is we have written a function which will automatically uh, which will convert uh, the JSON uh, format which we have on the server to one which is acceptable to be uh, passed over the network by Python library so as you can see right here uh, on the client end side we have this login function what this login function does is it is responsible for logging in the client so as we have seen just now on the server side how the login works in this case what will happen is the phoenix channel client would push and receive use the push and receive function uh, to send uh, a message to this particular topic on the phoenix server the login underscore user will be called and we will be returned a user state now the user state is handled in the case statement if it is correct if the login is successful then we will get a message otherwise we will see an error or in case the connection did not succeed we will see a timeout function now in a similar manner we have handled the other things such as at tweet since there might be a number of people who who would be following this particular uh, person and this tweet should show up in in their dashboard so what we do is we have created a new topic on the server side and we send a message from our Phoenix channel client to this particular topic. So this topic is called add tweet and update dashboard. And in this, what we do is we send a, the, this particular tweet 
to all the uh, all the users along with the username so i'll go into the server and i'll try to find this particular topic so in this particular topic what it will do is it is going to uh, so the client is pushing the tweet to the server and in this case it is broadcasting the server is broadcasting the tweet to all of its followers so you can see that it says broadcasting tweet to all of its followers and this is the broadcast which is there okay so what we try to do is we try to intercept this broadcast in the handle out so as you can see we have done a update dashboard call this update dashboard call will go to all the users which are subscribed to this channel so in this case we have intercepted this call we have deflated the tweet and in this case we are pushing this particular tweet to each and every user who is subscribed to this particular channel so now i'm going to show you a small demo of how our code is working so this is our simulator using this simulator we will be simulating first of all we will be simulating just a couple of clients and then after that we will be increasing the size and we will also be running the zip f distribution which we ran in the previous uh, previous project so right now what i am doing is uh, i am just running the run test method in this run test method there are a couple of a uh, couple of statements like register user for four users then those four users log in then uh, each of them add each other as the follower and then uh, they post the tweet and they post a couple of tweets which have hashtags which have mentions in them and then what they try to do is they try to retweet a post and then after that we inspect the state of two particular users so now quickly i'll i'll be going through these we also log out the two users so that you will be able to see that this state is a uh, their state is updated on the server properly so let me just quickly go over to the demo and show you how this is working okay so now we are in the in the test server and the test client so first of all what i am going to do is i am going to start the phoenix server so as you can see our phoenix server has started here what i am going to do is i am going to run my simulator and then i am going to run the test client too so now you will be able to see how this is working okay so as you can see right now the registration request was sent from the client to the server and in this case you can see that the topic new register user on room lobby received this particular request with password which was filtered out and the name kayur after that what we do is we log in into the user and get the state of that particular user from the server the login user in this case new login user which is subscribed uh, to this particular topic on the server and got login request from kayur authenticating once the authentication is completed it gets uh, the state which is stored on the server for this particular user and returns it since we have just started the server it would be empty state so after the last user is successfully added what we try to do is we try to add followers to each and each and every user so you will see that following kayur and username abhi was received on uh, on this uh, on the back end so i'll go to the state of abhi and i'll show you that it worked correctly so as you can see we have this username called abhi and in this username you can see that the follower is kayur also as you can see that there is a following list in which there is kayur and karan so i'll quickly go back to the code and as you can as you will be able to see that abhi added a kayur as a follower and kayur would internally add abhi as a follower too so this particular relation is justified right there and then as you can see that there is also karan which who is following abhi so in this case you will see that karan would have followed abhi right here so as you can see that whenever a tweet is sent this particular uh, topic is called on the rooms colon lobby uh, channel and you can see that the tweet was received right here so you can see that this tweet and that this tweet is same and then we broadcast the tweet to all the followers and internally the followers add this tweet to their dashboard once we go to this particular user called abhishek you can see that it is visible on on their dashboard list and you can see that they uh, that abhi has not tweeted this tweet it is from the user kayur you can see that since the structure of uh, tweet shows you the username of the user who has tweeted the tweet so you'll be able to see that 
the Kevur has tweeted this particular tweet. So similar thing goes on with retweet and retweet also show up as tweets in this particular dashboard. Now moving forward, I'll show you the hashtags and the mentions. So you can see that there were certain tweets which had hashtags and mentions in them. So one of the tweets was, uh, this particular tweet was had a hashtag of hashtag Watson. This had a hashtag of this. So if I go down, you will also see that there is a tweet with a hashtag of this which is appended to the second tweet the hash, uh, with the hashtag of IBM Watson. So we have two tweets with this hashtag. Apart from that, there is a mention of Karan and we can validate this in our code. You will be able to see that, okay, yes, Karan is mentioned right here. Now at last, what happens is that the lo logout happens for all the users. So we are logging out the user and we are killing the uh, gen server which, which is started for the client. In this case, what happens? The, the server and the client state might be inconsistent so, so client sends all the data from their own state to the server and the server updates their own state with this particular data so in this case whenever a user logs out he will see that there is a new update user state function which is called and this new user update state updates the state in the background for itself so this is it for our uh, first part of the demo now I'm going to show you how uh, we are going to run it uh, on 50 users and what is the performance for those. So now I'm going to run the project for 50 users and you will see the result. So first I'm going to start the mix server, sorry the Phoenix server. Phoenix server has started and now <clears throat> I'll start the test client. So as you can see that the 50 users are logging in right now and the request is going to the Phoenix server. Now you can see the tweets are coming up and uh, tweeting and retweeting is happening right now. Uh, the followers are being added right now. And then as you can see right now that uh, all the 50 users have successfully logged out. The total time taken for this operation was 16 seconds. <coughs> so as you can see we have completed the zip distribution for 50 users. Uh, here the 50 users logged in and they have logged out successfully and you can see that the server state is managed all the users have sent their server uh, their client state to the server state before logging uh, logging out uh, since it is infeasible to run the zip distribution for a large number of users and show it in the video we have made the provision of running it in the code so you can run the zip distribution for as much users as you like thank you